So what makes a good experience when it comes to messaging? Because these people are probably not using Salesforce, but I get some messages where I'm like, stop telling me about 10% off. I do not care, world market. <laughs> Just keeps going. How do you actually make sure you set up a good experience for the end consumer that is also new and different? I mean, I feel like we're moving into such a different year coming up here where people really want different things. Like if you're gonna keep doing what you've been doing the last five years, it probably will not work anymore. So like how should brands be thinking about creating a good messaging strategy? Or what have you seen that works? Yeah, the personalization is key here, right? We like to say the right channel at the right time for the right person, meaning you may be absolutely ready in your brain to go and purchase something from some company and they may actually be able to promote to you that product, but if it's not on the right channel at the right time, like it can actually have a negative effect on you because you may be like, oh, you're sending me another SMS right now. I don't, I don't want this stupid thing that I left in my cart. But statistically, if we sent it to you on the channel that you actually prefer, maybe you prefer email, maybe you like prefer WhatsApp, there's a higher conversion rate. So isn't that delightful for the merchant and you as the consumer have a much more pleasant experience? So what I think a lot about is working with our AI teams like our Einstein group and a number of other technology platforms like Genie to figure out how do we get you the right message on the right channel at the right time. And that's really, I think the key for merchants is thinking about how they optimize their systems to do that. Okay. So case study me, how would you figure out like what platform I like, or like what kind of questions or things would you do to figure out like, where does one talk to Stephanie at? <laughs> Think about what happens to you rather as a consumer, right? When you interact with a brand for the first time, let's say that you are on Instagram, an ad pops up for a thing you're interested in, you swipe up, you end up going to their site, you start poking around and maybe you buy something. Post-purchase, very common opportunity to understand preference of a customer. Hey, thanks for putting in your email to receive your order updates. Are you interested in receiving communications on email? No, I always check no, because I'm so flooded with email, it's not useful. But if I care about the brand, I'll check, send me an SMS, and I'll put my text number in. So Stephanie, if you do that, immediately I have a signal as a merchant that, okay, well, you prefer SMS, and you've given me your phone number. So now what I'm probably going to do is start a campaign automatically that sends you something at some predetermined time to see if that channel is really good for you. Maybe I send you a follow-up coupon or an add-on to the thing that you bought. And if we have a positive conversion over that SMS, that's another signal that we can say, oh, Stephanie also seems to like getting these SMSs and maybe we can try more. But if you say stop and you like actually end the SMS conversation, that could be a down signal and maybe we send you something over email to try that out. So the way I think about it from the merchant side is we should be interacting with you to help understand your preference and then basically checking that through the way that we want you to potentially buy things with us to ultimately make sure you have a great experience. Hey, thanks for watching. This segment was made possible by our friends at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. If you're looking for the number one platform for all your commerce needs, go check out salesforce.com slash commerce. And don't forget to subscribe below and tap that little bell icon so you can stay on top of all the amazing new segments and full episodes that we'll be putting out over the coming year with some of the best and most influential commerce leaders out there.